infected or you've been living under a rock, let me let you know now. So we have Dr. Patience Johnson in the studio. She is a world-renowned cosmetic dermatologist, an eminent researcher, multi-award winning international tutor, an author and motivational speaker. She is a beauty industry entrepreneur, the CEO of Derma Contour Worldwide based in Germany, and she's currently consulting at Derma Contour Aesthetic and Beauty Clinic Abuja, treating all kinds of skin issues. And two weeks ago, we were talking about anger. Mm -hmm. So today, we're going to continue yeah. on the anger series. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we well, let's talk. I will choose uh, today's uh, types of anger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have about ten of them, but I pick the five uh, out of them because these ones are the most the ones we see every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the one that is aggressive. We have the passive, and then assertive. We have suppressive, and we have the chronic anger. Okay. But let me pick the aggressive anger today. We won't be discussing next week. We continue where we stop. Mm -hmm. I really want it to sink into people, so I don't just want to rush it. Right. So I'm going to, because of the time too, I'm going to choose the aggressive one, which we all know. If you look everywhere in Nigeria, yeah, you will see that every day. And SARS demonstration was not a, it's not just a demonstration, it's an anger that has been accumulated for mm. long, correlated for long, till it get to some certain extent that the people have no other choice than to allow it to come out. You understand? Like when we say domestic violence, it's also not anger that is a, year, a day old or three days old. Yeah. It's also accumulated. Then when it's accumulated, then it, it, the, it, it turns to aggression and the displaying of it is then in the face it comes in the form of anger then the one that we call a uh, there's a uh, the, the second type is a uh, is a uh, passive okay the passive one <laughs> passive one is a uh, these ones that uh, um just feel they don't want to discuss it you find it in some certain housewives mm. yeah I think I'm among them too. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm angry, it's better let's not talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my own type. So it's better we don't talk. I may need even two weeks, three weeks. Wow. Yeah, then, but I will live normal. I will live as if nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when I calm myself, then I can discuss about it. So that I think a lot of people have that too, but it's not that terrible like the aggressive one I aggressive think that silent treatment that's right yeah because uh, the aggressive one is it's always with action mm. yeah it comes out that's the difference but this one the passive always comes out after p with peace the result is always peace yeah but the aggressive one is always with mm. there has to be action and mm. the, the action yeah, ends in destruction. Yeah, and the, yeah the end is always destruction mm. you understand that's the difference so we have the assertive we have the suppressive we have the chronic but i wouldn't want to do it because i really want people to get get to know what anger is and the causes and the damage so i wouldn't want to rush it maybe next week i start also with the assertive and the suppressive and then the chronic one is what the one that we put as mental it, it it's or is put under the mental disorder okay. and that is the one that when you really have it you need a professional a, a professional help mm. yeah so that's i will stop there so far because i know a lot of people want, want to, to ask something or call something so we mm. we just leave it there for today once again i apologize for the lateness i <laughs> i started early but i was driving slow because i wasn't really with myself today okay yeah, yeah. all right so if you want to ask dr patients any question on the types of anger the numbers to call in 0809-555-0983 or 0704-337175 3371743 or send a message on WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is 0809 444 0983.